You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES 2014. We are live, we are in Las Vegas. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. And this is David Rogers from Elite Screens. Woo! How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you, John? I'm good. I have to admit, the guys in the chat room are a little upset because I didn't ask you what you had for I lunch today. I can't believe today. it, John. I know. I Typically, we, when we have people on getting mic'd up, the, mm -hmm. the standard question for the mic check is, what did you have for lunch? Saboro's Pizza, the Ooh. breakfast and lunch of champions. <laughs> nice, now well you all played, know sir. what he yeah, had man. for breakfast. How has uh, CES been treating you this year? CES was good, a little slow on day one because everybody was still frozen. In the tundra northeast. Yep. You left the door open to Canada, sorry about that. Yeah, no. yeah, you should have shut yeah, that. Yeah, thanks for that holiday yeah, yeah. card, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you guys have heard us talk about elite screens over and over. Mm -hmm. They are their name says it all. They are the elite of the screen manufacturing world. So like when people want to put a projection screen in their mm -hmm. nice beautiful home or their uh, office environment, you guys make all that stuff. Yeah, we really do. I mean, there are so many great makers out there, and uh, they focus on these uh, these product lines that are really at a a top tier, and we thought, well, you know, that top tier's great, but can we make that for the regular retail channel? Now, we do have our dedicated line of custom install stuff, but we can't forget our CE retail consumers, such Re as this. Regular so, people. Yeah, and uh, the bottom line is, you shouldn't have to mortgage your house, uh, sell your firstborn, uh, to have that quality in your home. Uh, a lot of people aren't doing the uh, dedicated home theaters anymore, and so you need a product for a little versatility in that uh, room. You know, you want to do more than just one thing with your uh, media room. Absolutely. We have one of my friends, actually she was here co-hosting with you, Georgia. Yeah. She has one of your screens in her house, and it, mm -hmm. it's on the wall. It made it home theater totally accessible to them with the projector and the screen. Awesome, glad to hear it's it. It's fantastic. Glad to hear it. So tell us, I mean, we recently, we took a look at one of your relatively new products that yes. was designed for portable, even yeah. outdoor use. Yeah. Tell us about that, and did you introduce anything else new here at the show? Well, um, what you're talking about is a yard master, and I loved that <laughs> review. Thank yeah. you. I'm, I'm glad it went over just fantastic. We loved it. <laughs> the um, the yard master really came about because people came to us and said, "Hey, those those inflatable uh, outdoor screens are great, but they're a logistical nightmare, yeah. and they're expensive. And when that little uh, inflatable motor thingy breaks, what do we do?" So he said, well, we can, we can do something that will be a lot more portable, a lot more affordable, a lot more easy to pack away, and um, you know, set it up, bolt it down, and you can have your uh, presentation in the park, and you're awesome. Yeah. You guys, if you didn't see it, go, uh, somebody help out in the chat rooms, put a link, but just do a search on the GeekBeat website for Elite Screens, mm -hmm. and you'll see, the, or Yardmaster, and you'll see the review we did. We mm -hmm. gave it an Editor's Choice Award because it went up so easy and it just works so well. Even you could do it. Even, you Even could I it. could do yeah. it. Everybody yeah. needs one of these. But, uh, so that was great. Tell Thanks. us, what else have you guys been bringing out here recently that you're showcasing at the show? Well, we've, uh, we've really been pushing with an ambient light rejecting technology. And that really goes hand in hand with what we're talking about. You're not using the the uh, dedicated rooms anymore, so a lot of times you don't have that light control. So we developed a product that essentially will reflect your image, but it has a contrast layer that will shield you from all the effects of, you know, the washout effects yeah. from your ambient light screen making it a real milky image. And I brought a sample here. Oh, let's see. I'd love yeah. to see it. It's a small sample. Oh wow, this thing is like not what I expected. It looks like a kind of a silvery it does. metallic, uh, well I guess you can see that here from our little. So you're telling me that we would use this as a screen? We would actually project onto this? You would. Because it's not white. I keep right. thinking it has to be white. Now here's the beauty of it. Um, 
the, uh, the diffusion layer actually absorbs a lot of this ambient light, and that's why you're seeing a darker image. Mm -hmm. You hit it directly with your projected light, and suddenly you've got this bounce back. This is a 1.8 gain material as opposed to 1.0, which is your typical matte Absolutely. white. Huh. And uh, it, what it's going to do, it's going to give you a, uh, you know, this is our polar star, it's going to give you a, a, a much sharper image. You're going to get that contrast. You don't have to dim the lights necessarily. If you want to, you can, but I mean, it, it's going to give you a real bright performance. It's kind of that uh, holy grail of how close t can I get to flat panel performance? From a projector. From a projector, exactly. So uh, just out of curiosity, let's turn yeah. it around because I want to see how it's mounted. Yep. This is a frame. Is this how they typically mount? You get a frame and you stretch it around the frame, or well, is that? Yeah, this is one of our, our new concepts where people were asking for the edge-free design. So we're now working on a uh, product where it just wraps around the frame because past attempts at this, it was just one big rigid piece and it's a shipping nightmare. Oh yeah. So we want something that'll ship a lot more easy. It's a lot easier for uh, consumers to get. You can um, stick this in a tube, then at the other end, they put four screws in on each corner, assemble it, stretch the thing, bang, you're done. Yep. And um, now nice. That's right. this one right here, this is something that we uh, developed for our custom integrators because they absolutely had to have it. Uh, when we were doing our studies on the uh, on the CE retail guys, the CE retail guys said, well, we don't need all the bells and whistles, but we kind of like the idea of ambient light rejection as well. Can you, can you give us kind of a scaled down version of that? So we've got one in the works as well. Nice. That is good looking stuff. And you know, we would, uh, I'd love to give a, give a, this material a try. Maybe we get a little sample from you at some point, oh, so we can it. show shine a screen at it. One last question on it. Sure. We're kind of we we could go all day talking about these things. Yeah. We're a little bit out of time, but um, what if I use a projector that's not really powerful? Does uh, using it on a screen like this help uh, give us a, a little more brightness? Yeah, it's actually better to do that because it's really going to amplify your performance. Okay. And. One of the one of the one of the big uh, problems I've seen people do is they say, "Man, I got to get that horsepower in there. I'm going to get a business one. This is going to crank out the lights." And you know, they'll they'll get something, some kind of projector that you could spotlight bombers over London yeah. with. Yeah, you could bake, you could cook a hot dog in front yeah. of it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it won't. But you really need the reflectivity, yeah. the screen, in order to do some of that heavy lifting. Right. Cool. So um, yeah, if, if you really don't need to overpower it with a brightness. It's going to amplify for you. You can use just a standard home theater uh, projector and it let the screen do the work. It's going nice. to be awesome. Speaking of awesome, Elite Screens, you guys, go check them out and stay tuned. We're about to be wrapping up all of our coverage here at CES 2014, but we're not done just yet. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. Be right back. We're, We're done. not done.